In a land of mind-boggling wilderness, rugged roadside pit stops, and a Serengeti's worth of big fauna, Alaska's epic highways offer unlimited possibilities for adventurous drivers. While road trips in the rest of the U.S. are dotted with regular gas stations and kitschy curbside attractions, Alaskan highways appeal to a more intrepid wilderness connoisseur. Welcome to a state where most of the jaywalkers are moose and road signs are sometimes used for target practice. If you're driving here, bring, or rent, a sturdy vehicle, make sure you know how to change a tire, or two, and stock up on food, playlists and emergency supplies. Seward Highway Start, Anchorage, and Seward, distance 127 miles, 204 kilometers, one day. If you're new to the state, hone your Alaskan driving skills on this relatively easy-going route from Anchorage to Seward on the well-trafficked Kenai Peninsula. Heading south out of Alaska's main metro area, the first section contours the placid shores of Turnagain Arm, a waterway shielded by 5,000 feet peaks and lapped by the largest tides in the U.S. Consider a detour to the Cold War anachronism of Whittier from Milepost 79, a town where 90% of the population lives in the same high-rise. Luring the curious as an esoteric museum, a breezy harbor, and the incongruous Buckner Building ruins. Whittier is accessed via a 2.7-mile long single-lane tunnel that alternates directional flow every 30 minutes. Back on the Seward Highway, the scenery ups the stakes as you penetrate the Kenai Peninsula with a glossy magazine spread of lakes, mountains and glaciers. Regular pull-offs serve as trailheads and Instagrammable selfie spots. Journey's end, Seward is still only the beginning if you're planning a visit to adjacent Kenai Fjords National Park, a paradise for blue water kayakers and an easy access point for the drive-up exit glacier, considered an important barometer of climate change. Top of the World Highway Start, Talk, End, Dawson City, Distance 186 miles, 300 kilometers, one day. This desolate, undulating highway over rolling hill crests is one of America's most northerly roads crossing into Canada at a seasonal border post, May to Sep, in splendid isolation. The only settlement en route is the pinprick gold mining settlement of Chicken, Population 7, so named because its founding fathers couldn't work out how to spell the local bird, ptarmigan. In a grisly clapboard cafe saloon, you'll find the finest cinnamon buns north of the 60th parallel. Stuck up, you'll need the subsistence. Wild, tough on the tires, and ideal for social distancing, this gritty ribbon of asphalt and gravel is only partially paved and bereft of major services. For a real, sourdough, old-timer, experience, buy a gold pan in Delta Junction and try your luck in the stony shallows of the West Fork River, mile 49. The top of the world ends at the Yukon River where a free 24-hour car ferry floats across to Dawson City, the once industrious hub of the 1897-8 gold rush that's still dripping with Klondike-era nostalgia. George Parks Highway Start, Anchorage, and Fairbanks, Distance 358 miles, 576 kilometers, three days. Smooth, fast, and well-maintained, the parks was opened in 1971 paralleling the route of the Alaska Railroad which had been built 50 years earlier. As well as providing swift year-round passage between the state's two main metro areas, the highway is the gateway to Denali National Park, an obligatory stop for anyone intent on seeing Alaska's big fauna in all its glory. Bag a hotel in the service center of Canyon, mile 237, and get a park bus to take you into the interior. The road's real showstopper is at mile 163, a potential cloud-free glimpse of Denali, the mountain. On a clear day, the sheer 20,310-feet dome is one of the most awe-inspiring visions in America. Eleven miles further north, the parks crosses a deep V-shaped valley called Hurricane Gulch via an impressive metal-arched bridge. Another essential stop, for completely different reasons, is the social hub of 49th State Brewing Company in Healy, mile 249, where you can enjoy craft beer, yak burgers and a game of bocce ball next to the Magic Bus, used in the Sean Penn film Into the Wild. Nome Council Road Start, Nome, and Council, distance 73 miles, 117 kilometers, one day. So close to Russia you can practically smell the stroganoff, the former gold rush outpost of Nome is unconnected to Alaska's main road network. 
Instead, access is provided by air, sea, or dog sled, the latter during the famous annual Iditarod. Once in town, road trippers can rent a car at Dredge No. 7 Inn and explore three desolate roads, all of which dead end in sweeping tundra. The most worthwhile, scenically speaking, is the largely unpaved road to the semi-abandoned village of Council which tracks a portion of the coast before curling inland and finishing on the banks of the Neokluk River. A surreal array of gold rush remnants is viewable en route, including disheveled dredges, a rusting locomotive dubbed, the last train to nowhere, and a 120-year-old roadhouse. Bring fishing tackle, the Neokluk yields large grayling. Glacier Highway Start, Juno, and Point Bridget State Park, distance 36 miles, 58 kilometers, one day. Characterized by jagged islands and deep fjords, the Alaskan Panhandle is bereft of interconnecting roads. The only way to get your car to places like Sitka or Juneau in is on the Alaska Marine Highway Ferry. Once there, drives are short but kaleidoscopic. The classic road north out of state capital Juneau is one of the best, taking in the splendid Mendenhall Glacier, an unusual Catholic shrine and a state park overlooking the Broadlin Canal, North America's deepest fjord. The Mendenhall could fill an hour or a day. The glacier's half-mile-long face deposits icebergs into an eponymous lake overlooked by a slick visitor center. Trails, bears and a belting waterfall decorate the surroundings. Back on the highway, the Shrine of St. Therese at the road's 23-mile mark is a beach stone chapel on an attractive forested islet linked to the shore via a causeway. It dates from the 1930s. The highway ends at Point Bridget State Park, a slice of coastal rainforest penetrated by trails where playful sea lions bask in the surf. Glen Highway Start, Anchorage, and Glen Allen, distance 187 miles, 301 kilometers, one day. In a state not short on once-in-a-lifetime road trips, the Glen stands out as one of Alaska's premier drives running through mountain valleys that look as if they were carved by an extraterrestrial Michelangelo. Starting in Anchorage as Alaska's only divided freeway, the road narrows at mile 36 and enters Palmer, an agricultural community ringed by mountains known for its freakishly large homegrown vegetables. Heading east, you'll spot numerous glaciers spilling off the Chugach Range to the south, most notably the Matanuska. Historic roadhouses decorated with taxidermic animals dot this route and make worthwhile lunch stops, including the Eureka at the road's eponymous summit. From here it's a long gradual descent through high country and woodland to Glen Allen, gateway to Wrangell Street Elias National Park. Richardson Highway Start, Fairbanks, and Valdez, distance 364 miles, 586 kilometers, two days. The Richardson has the honor of being Alaska's oldest road. First forged as a pack trail in 1898, it was widened to a wagon road in 1910 and upgraded for automobiles in the 1920s. Paving was added in 1957. Starting in Fairbanks and heading south, the highway brims with superlatives. The section between Paxson and Gulkana is particularly mesmerizing. In ethereal summer light, wildflowers shimmer in the wind as the massive humps of the Alaska and Chugach Mountains stand sentinel. Cutting alongside shadowy forests, severe tundra and white-capped rivers, you'll pass Copper Center, good for rafting, Thompson Pass, with access to the Worthington Glacier, and narrow Keystone Canyon, an important trail nexus. Valdez is a small coastal town revered by outdoor sports enthusiasts with boat access to the enormous calving glaciers of Prince William Sound. In 1964, the original settlement was destroyed by the second strongest earthquake in human history. The local museum tells the tragic story. Alaska Highway Start, Dawson Creek, BC, and Delta Junction, distance 1390 miles, 2237 kilometers, 4 to 5 days. If you're intent on bringing your car to Alaska from Canada or the lower 48, chances are your first taste of rugged 49 will be the legendary Alaska Highway, aka the Alkin. Hailed as one of the great road-building initiatives of the 20th century when it was hacked and blasted through the wilderness during World War II in an unprecedented eight months, the road officially starts in Dawson Creek, BC, and skirts the edge of the St. Elias Mountains in the Yukon before entering Alaska. 
Worthwhile stops on the 200-mile Alaskan section of the route include Tetlin National Wildlife Refuge, a transportation corridor for birds with four roadside viewing areas, and Mukluk Land in Tok, a bizarre backwoods theme park sporting everything from Santa's rocket to a creepy doll collection. The Alkin is fully paved, well-maintained, and open year-round. Roadside services are relatively good although cell phone coverage can be patchy. Book ahead for overnight accommodation.